Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today, bringing a video today for our movie weapon series after a long time making a comeback here. And in this case, the TV show weapon series, we are covering the Terminal List and the main character there played by Chris Pratt. The main character that he plays is actually James Reese and we're going to be covering the BCM Recce 14 SX4, BCM being Bravo Company Manufacturing. This is a U.S. company here making really nice um, and recognizable M4 builds on par, if not better than possibly the Daniel Defense build. So we'll run through this build. I'll show some shots from the terminal list here where he's using this. And we'll talk a little bit about the show as well without giving away any spoilers as well as some gameplay using this in hardcore to try and replicate really how Chris Pratt's character, uh, James Reese, uses it in the terminal list. So let's go ahead now. We'll back out and jump right in with it. Here we have our final design for the BCM Recce 14 SX4. So, first off, quick note, this is actually semi-similar to what was used by uh, Chris Hemsworth in Extraction. Some differences there. Um, I did cover those weapons in this movie weapon series as well. But we'll go ahead now, back out, strip this thing down to base. So, this is an interesting weapon. We can't make it 100% exact. Obviously, we're a little bit, have our hands tied with um, some of the blueprints here. So for the blueprints, there's some key things that we needed for this right off the bat. We needed a black P mag and as well as all black furniture on the weapon. So there's really no uh, blueprints that fit that really besides the uh, the one that we're going to be using here today. You see fair brass. We have a, a multicolored weapon there with the upper and lower is, is off. So really what we need to use here is going to be the zip tie because it's really the only one that has a clean black P mag with a full black furniture on the weapon. So if you go ahead and go ahead and down to the zip tie, here's the zip tie at base. If you guys didn't get it, uh, you can definitely build this. If you have the right barrel for the zip tie and some of their blueprints that comes with this, you can put on some camos for that as well, which I'll show off. So selecting a zip tie here, go ahead and jump in. First off, we're going to want the muzzle brake. So muzzle brake here, I'm going to use the, uh, the Thunderclap blueprint version of this, you can always go with default, is completely fine as well. Thunderclap's just a little bit darker here, so that's going to give us the recoil stabilization. And in the show, on the build that uh, Chris Press character is using, the Recce 14, he's running a three-port suppressor muzzle brake on that. So, a rugged three-port suppressor muzzle brake. So, very, pretty much spot on, nice looking brake there, looks good. Next up for the barrel attachment. This is a tough one. Uh, the SX4, obviously, it's around 14 and a half inch. Uh, I believe it is 14 and a half inch for the barrel length of this thing in real life. Um, however, in the show, he's running a Bravo Company Manufacturing BCM 13 inch M lock modular rail or handguard on there. So we're going to want the, obviously the 14 and a half inch barrel on this thing as well as something to closely replicate kind of handguard that he's running. Now, this one. Definitely has some M-locks on it. So you can see here, we're gonna going to need to go with the zip tie. There's some other options here. Obviously, you can go with the fluorine, the same barrel. However, you have the gold bits in there, which really, it's a more noticeable than what you have on the zip tie. Sulfur Wanderer is the same barrel as well. However, obviously, that's camoed. And then Wages of Sin is another one we could have done. However, the red on there, and it's a little bit too short. So we got to stay away from that one. So we're going to go with the zip tie blueprint build here to mostly replicate what he's using in the show. The Terminalist with that Recce 14 SX4. Go ahead and select that. Next up for the laser attachment now. In the show, he's actually running, I believe it's a flashlight on this. We don't have a flashlight, but we do have the TAC laser. So we're going to run the TAC laser. However, we're going to want it to be a dark version of the TAC laser. So for our Frankenspithian options here, we're going to go with the XRK M4 build, or if you have any other black one, um, dark PEC-15 there, that'll work as well. We'll go ahead and throw that on. And again, like I said, in the show, um, I believe he's actually running, it's a it's a top-mounted flashlight on that Picatinny switch, which we, we don't have here. So he is running a weapon light. Looks a little bit bigger than this. However, uh, PEC-15, hopefully in Modern Warfare 2, we'll have laser light uh, combo options there as well. Now the optic here. For the optic in the show, he's actually running a, he has a flip option on there. So he's running a aim point, uh, let's see here. We want the aim point optic here. The micro T2 is what he's running. He does have a magnifier on that, but we don't have, we could go with the four times flip, but obviously this is not the 
aim point micro so we're going to want the aim op which is going to replicate that it's the same thing as the aim point micro we'll go ahead and use that with the base version of this we don't need a blueprint option on that so we'll run default on there again we don't have the magnifier for that go, would go with this unfortunately but um, it still looks pretty clean in my opinion the stock option in the show looks like a salt my butt stock to me so we'll stick with that one again that we picked this blueprint because it is all black furniture on the weapon skip out on the perk for the rear grip option there's two two things you can do here rear grip option we're going to go with the granulated grip tape to replicate what he has for the uh pistol grip on that weapon in the show that looks really good that's basically our one of our final designs here which you'll see a lot of the gameplay on another option you could swap out that pistol grip and you could throw on the burst option for that as well just because of some of the, some of the engagements in the show he's popping off like two round bursts and you can you can hear it he's just popping those off really quick so to replicate it even more especially in the hardcore gameplay you'll see i played with around with the burst fire a little bit definitely uh a lot of fun to use for the hardcore but again to stay really true to it i think you can go either way but a granular grip, grip tape just gives us a little bit more uh visually accurate build to what he's using to show for that bravo company manufacturing recce 14 sx4 so this is our final design looks really really clean on there obviously it's not 100 percent accurate we have a little bit of the gold uh and blue options there for the blueprint can't do anything about that there's no clean black uh finished camo on this unfortunately but still looks really really nice and performs really good in the hardcore gameplay that you'll see here against bots so that's our final design backing out here we're actually for the operator quick we're going to be running wyatt for his if we jump in here the raid gear skin so in the show this is probably the closest we can get to what he's uh running mainly here i'm trying to replicate what he ran in uh season five or no, excuse me episode episode uh five i believe it's called uh disruption uh no spoilers but what a great episode especially at the end this is kind of the closest we can get to what he's running in a couple a couple of different episodes where he's running this thing um this is kind of the closest he's got the hat t-shirt so can't get it exact, but Wyatt Raid Gear is kind of the closest we can get there. So go ahead now. That is our final design here for the Bravo Company Manufacturing Recce 14 SX4. Go ahead now and just jump into the gameplay here. You'll see me again running this thing in hardcore on Piccadilly here against bots. Just trying to play. I'm going to put this in single fire. I may show some of the burst gameplay I had in there too, but um, if I don't, definitely try it out just on your own against bots. It is really fun and, and, and worked out really well, but... You'll see the gameplay here. I'm putting this thing in single fire because we are running hardcore. I want it to be kind of true to the show and more realistic gameplay, obviously. So putting this thing in single fire, and we're just gonna gonna fire it as if we would uh, in real life engagements here against enemy targets. So obviously true to the show as well in a lot of the engagements. You'll see if you guys haven't watched it, definitely check it out. And um, again, the BCM Bravo Company Manufacturing Recce 14 SX4 used by Chris Pratt his character james reese in the new show the terminalist so if you guys aren't aware of this i'm not going to give spoilers obviously but this is an amazon prime exclusive the terminalist just came out i believe july 1st or over the fourth weekend there and i caught up on it and finished it pretty quickly after i was about a week late on it because i was just busy but once i watched it the description of this without giving away anything just over on imdb.com Former Navy SEAL officer investigates why his entire platoon was ambushed during a high-stakes covert mission. So the the show itself, I think there's eight total episodes. They're all running a little over an hour apiece. And it starts off right with a SEAL raid, basically. And it's pretty much nonstop action all the way through. And it's very, um, what they said here, SEAL officer investigates why his entire pl platoon was ambushed. There's a lot of twists and turns, conspiracy cover-ups. It's it's a really, really good show. I enjoy it. I love this thing. Once I started watching it, I couldn't put it down. Stars for this is Chris Pratt, Constant Wu, Taylor Kitsch are the main stars here. As well as uh, Taylor Kitsch, if you don't remember from... He played uh, in The Lone Survivor. He played uh, Mike Murphy in that. He's been in some other, other shows and movies as well. And I really loved his character. He plays Ben Edwards, former SEAL team member of Chris Pratt. So brother in arms, they go hand in hand throughout the whole movie. Uh, very good performance by him as well. 
overall, this show is cast beautifully, and the show itself just action packed as well as just keeps you on the edge of your seat. It's one of those shows, like I said, as soon as you start it, you can't put it down, and there's a lot of things going on here, flashbacks, things like that, um, that have you questioning really what's happening. So you, you definitely get hooked right away. Now, one thing that's really great about this show, definitely, like I said, there's a lot of firefights, a um, lot of lot of non-firefight action going on too, where you're more so investigating what's happening, but the firefight scenes, specifically, no spoilers, but the end, I believe it was of episode five, um wow i i watched that and i was just kind of like taken aback by how crazy it was and I, a lot of things happened that i didn't expect to happen so I, that's all i'll say with that if you guys haven't checked this out definitely give it a go over on amazon prime i would recommend it if you guys don't have amazon prime consider doing it maybe just for this show because i think it's going to only be exclusively on here because it is an amazon prime production um, definitely give it a go. Now, this is actually based on a book series by former Navy SEAL member Jack Carr, who uh, I do follow him over on Instagram as well. He's done a lot of interviews. I think he was just on Joe Rogan recently as well. He did talk about this. Um, I think he wrote these books, the first one back in 2014, if not a little earlier, is when it came out. And I think he's working all the way up on book four right now. So he he wrote these books again he has the experience so he was basically lived all this stuff which is great um and he always had chris pratt in mind so he's done some pretty good interviews go ahead and check those out jack carr you can definitely get these books the terminal list out there as well and like i said he's i believe working on book four right now and the way this show leaves off it definitely leaves it open for a season two which i'm, I'm sure they'll take advantage of obviously if there's more than one book it would make sense that this show is going to uh continue in some regard so i'm excited to see they kind of leave it like i said with the possibility of a season two as well as there's still a lot of open ends uh at the end of the show with the very last episode the way it ends so that's that's really all i'll say about that if you guys have seen the show let me know your thoughts down below uh try to keep it spoiler free for the most part that way we don't give anything away to people that haven't seen it but let me know overall what you guys thought about it what you thought of the ending, what you thought of some of those firefight scenes down below. Let me know some of your favorite parts. Again, try and keep it spoiler-free for a lot of people, um, but let me know what your thoughts are. Also, let me know what your thoughts are on the Bravo Company Manufacturing Recce 14 SX4 used by Chris Pratt. I th also thought Chris Pratt gave a great performance. This is a good role to see him in. I really liked him in uh, Zero Dark Thirty, even though he had a small role there, but I love him in these serious roles. He definitely stretches his legs as an actor here. This is a, a really nice, I guess, theater of acting to see him in. He always he plays he plays a really good uh, military anything. And in this case, a Navy SEAL. I know in real life he has a lot of Navy SEAL friends, so you can tell he put in the the, the work and dedication to um, you know making himself look, feel, move like a SEAL. Uh, did the training things like that. So that, that's what we love to see. He really owned this role. Him and Taylor uh, Taylor. Kitch, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, just were awesome in this. So, great cast. Definitely check it out. Let me know your thoughts down below. Leave you guys with what's left of the gameplay here, maybe if we didn't run out already. Till next time, this is Buffering Gaming with the movie weapon series for the Terminal List. We're covering the Bravo Company manufacturer of the BCM Recce 14 SX4. Till next time, Buffering Gaming, out.